Hello everybody and welcome to Legends of Area. Uh, hopefully I pronounced that right. Uh, I just found out about this game. Um, I actually saw, I can't remember, it was on social media somewhere, but somebody mentioned that it was a lot like Ultima Online. Uh, any of you guys that know me may have heard me talk in some of my other videos about Ultima Online. Uh, that was the first MMORPG that I ever played. So, of course, that sparked my interest in this game. Um, maybe looking for a little nostalgia. Uh, so I'm kind of curious about it. So I want to do a little first impressions video. So let's get started. Okay, we're at the character select screen. Of course, you see we've got all empty slots here. I hadn't done anything yet. I had to uh, actually cut out the part where I had to create an account. So uh, empty slot. We're going to create a character. Let's name him Kane. That was one of my favorite uh, names in my Ultima Online days. Let's see what we've got here. Alright. Yeah, looks like we have only a few basic options here. Where's what? Okay. Yep. yep. Roguish. Nobleman. Messy. Bald. Buzz cut. Bangs. This wind sweat. Can we rotate? No, we can't rotate our character. Doesn't look like. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that one. Let's see. Facial hair. That'll work. Uh, hair color. Yeah. That'll work. All right. Pretty simple, straightforward. Select like clothing. Uh, I'm not even going to bother with this because I'm sure we'll be changing this up pretty quick after we get started. Uh, if, it, if it's anything like Ultima Online, the first thing you done was ditched your. Uh, or well, I won't necessarily say ditched your clothes because your new clothes stayed with you. Um, a lot of people would keep them. I'd try to keep mine, but of course you're going to put something over them. Uh, let's see. Next, Warrior Mage, Archer, Bard, Blacksmith, or Advanced. Now, I, know, I do know if, if it is anything like Ultima Online. These are good starting points, but Advanced is where you really want to be. So once I get know a little more about the game, if I decide to stick with it, I'll probably come back and do Advanced. But uh, to start with, we're just going to go with a Plain Warrior. Next. Okay, slashing. Slashing determines your efficiency when fighting with slashing weapons. Vigor determines your effectiveness at bandaging and offers a damage bonus with melee and ranged weapons. Healing determines your ability to heal humans and animals. Martial prowess determines the effectiveness of martial abilities and offers a damage bonus with um, pretty much all weapons. Okay. Hmm. So that seems like a pretty rough starting point uh you only get 100 skill points to distribute and then i believe the skill cap is 600 um all right uh, locate a resource rich upper plains bustling marketplace okay well it looks like yeah Looks like that's our only option for a starting village. That may be because we chose a predefined template versus creating a, an advanced character. I don't know, we'll just have to see. So, inner world. Let's see what awaits us. Alright, welcome to Legends of Area. Basic user interface basics tutorial. Let's see, let's pull that game sound down just a little bit. It looks like it's a little louder than I normally would have it. Um, user interface basic tutorial, next. Character window, okay, now this looks familiar. Skills, abilities, backpack, next. Okay, double click an item to use it. Oh, okay, we've got a quick bar. Click to expand the list, click to zoom in and out. 
Drag spells from the spellbook to the bar. Okay. Primary and secondary abilities. Q and E. Okay, right next to the W. Nice. And which I'm not sure. I'm wondering how close this actually is to what I'm used to in Ultima Online. Which is right click movement on the screen. Know your way. Okay. Click to lock the minimap. Uh, settings. That looks very familiar. Hold right click to run. Double click to interact. Yep, so I was right on that. Okay, space bar enters and exits combat. That's different. It was tab, if I remember right, in Ultima Online. I'll left click mob to set target, run into range to swing. Alright, click use hotkey to use a spell, run into range, click mob to cast. That sounds kind of clunky. Hopefully there's a better way to target. Uh, I'll find out later on, you know, because right now we're just doing the warrior. So, Okay, where am I? You're waking to find yourself in the strangest of places. You have no memory of how you got here or even who you were in your former life. All you can remember is a blinding flash of light in your own name. Uh, welcome to Celador. The gods have sent me to help you get started with your new life. Got it. Once you take some time to get used to your new surroundings, when you're ready to learn more, you can summon or converse with me at any time. Click the blue icon at the bottom of the screen. Okay, I guess that's it right there. Okay. And now we'll get rid of that. Okay, so we have a missions and quests. Start a profession by opening a profession window from your menu. Alright, we'll get to that in a second. Alright, here's our backpack. I want to make this a little bigger. Okay, long sleeve shirt, and there's the pants. Where are we at? We're right here. Okay. There's our character. Paper doll. Hmm. No time she's criminal, innocent, title, no title, no bio. Alright, let's close that out. Let's rearrange a few things on the screen here. Can we move this stuff? Okay, maybe not. All right, we're gonna get rid of this drop down. Pull this down here. Okay. Okay, so I was right on the clothing. Um, you know, we started out with a long sleeve shirt and a cloth pants, but we were given a leather tunic, so <clears throat> so that takes the place. All right, strength is up. I'm gonna use the determination of your attack value. You also determines how much weight you can carry. Agility, intelligence, wisdom, and will. Okay, so everything is turned up right now. Vitality well rested. How well rested you are, low vitality will result in penalties to your maximum health. And just to keep keep in mind, I'm on a free account. Um, I see here where it says get premium to claim your power hour, which power hour is a, a term that I seem to remember once again from Ultima Online. So it seems like they they were really fans of Ultima Online, uh, the creators of this game. I'm not sure what the backstory is on that, but um, somebody was very familiar with Ultima Online. But that gives us a bonus for like your first hour of the day playing where your skills go up at a much higher rate. So let's look at the skills. Okay, alchemy, animal lore. Alright, we got all this good stuff. Let's flip to the next page. Here's our healing. Martial prowess. Vigor. Do we have any type of... Oh, slashing. Okay, there we go. Okay, 100 of 600. So it's a 600 cap. I was correct on that. I'm not sure what that is. I guess that's take you back to the beginning. Yeah. So...
so favorites so i guess what we would do is pick our six skills that we wanted and drag them over here that would keep track of our template um but this shows you know everything where we're at track skills here on the game hood favorite skills are shown on the first page of the book okay so we can actually okay so we can actually track them put them up here and then we can see the progress okay well, I don't want to track that anymore so how do I make that go away <laughs> Let's see, during ability not trained. Discipline the bard, fighter, mage, tamer. Experience ability points, fighter. Okay. These are like abilities. That's actually in addition to what I was used to in Ultima Online. You didn't really have abilities, you just pretty much had your um, hack and slash. Uh, pretty much when it comes to especially a warrior. Um, there were really no no abilities, uh, so to speak, just pure skill based. Sure, you want to cancel this task? No, I don't want to cancel this task. Uh, instructions: Start a profession by opening your professions window from the menu in the bottom right of your screen by clicking and clicking Train Professions. Oh, I didn't even see this menu. Um. Professions window. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's telling me what it requires before I guess we can train it. So, what 30 weapon skill, prowess, and bigger. Alright, let's get rid of that. Speak to a fighter trainer. He keeps asking me if I want to remove this task, and I just want a, a, a better way to read it. You know, to be able to see it a little better. What's this? Okay, that's a marker. Okay, here we go. Gatekeeper, learn to fight. Okay, it's directly behind us. Nice. All right, so oh, let's not run into that tree. So it looks like maybe we're up this way. Maybe. Maybe we're supposed to keep going this way. Something's not looking right here. How do I get over there? Can we zoom in on this? No, doesn't look like it. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me, maybe we need to continue out of town. circle around this way. Hmm, I should almost be there. Yeah, it looks like we're going the right way. Can we rotate the camera here? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah we can rotate the camera. Okay. That's good. Ah, okay, I can see it on my mini-map now. Eh, chicken.
Here we go. We finally made it. Alright. I'm assuming this is the gentleman we need to talk to. Uh, does that look right? Yep, looks like we're right on top of him. Speak to the fighter trainer. That's fighter guild. Uh, fighter intro. Teach me to fight. I have not a matter to discuss. Alright, first you'll need to acquire and equip a weapon if you have not already. Each type of weapon has its own set of abilities in addition to their normal attack. Speak to me again with a weapon equipped. Continue. Marker has been added to your map. Alright, let's see. Do we have a weapon? What's that? Mm, Hearthstone Blast teleports you to your buying location. Nice. Hunting knife. Okay, well, I guess worst comes to worst, we can equip a hunting knife. Oh no, we already had a katana equipped. Okay, nice. Never mind. Scrap that idea. Okay, we have equipped it. I really wonder if you could help me with fighter intro. How is this for a weapon? Let's do Let's see if you know how to use it first in a combat. Your stance will change and your weapon will be at the ready in this stance. You're ready to attack. Alright, I'm ready to attack. I'm back in peaceful. Can I hit things yet? I thought you would never ask. Now you have demonstrated you can end it. Uh, you can enter and exit combat since you're ready to attack. Uh, you're ready to attack a victim. Enter combat stance once more and find your first target. Maybe this training dummy over here. Make sure to get close enough. Continue. All right. Seems like he's happy with that. feel powerful. <laughs> Not yet. You, uh, you have learned how to hurt things. Good for you. Remember, in most situations, you will also need a way to heal yourself, such as magic or bandages. Maybe the town healer could teach you. Continue. All right. Good deal. Okay, that was pretty simple and straightforward. Okay, speak to a healer. All right, learn to bandage. The healers to the northeast. So, let's see about heading that way. That giant rat. Let's see something. Does this work? Yeah, we can double click it and we start. Okay, and here's our health bars up here. Gain skill and slashing now 30.2. Martial power, prowess 30.1. We're doing very bad at this point. Open pack. Coin purse. Two eyes. And a lesser mana potion. Okay, is there a... Is there like a take all button? Okay. Looting. Harvest them. I'll take all the loot we can get. Okay, I should have done that first. All right. So looting takes a little time. It's interesting. Loot all, loot all gold. Okay. Interesting. So now we got our goodies in here. Uh, what are we looking like on bandages? Fifty. All right, we definitely need to put those on a hotkey. Cannot bandage. Well, I don't, didn't want to bandage. 
Oh, okay, can't bandage. Okay, it won't let me bandage again. I see, I see. I thought it looked like it was trying to bandage the rat. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't think uh, bandage is going to help that poor fella. Uh, do I even know where I'm going? No, I don't. I'm, I'm all crossed up. Ooh, I got to get used to this camera adjustment. That's uh, just a bit quirky. supposed to head to again uh, actually east to northeast so east to northeast hmm it's kind of hard to tell okay this is north this is East. Now, I wish the the mini map rotated with the camera. Oh, never mind. I think I just saw it right down here. It's gonna you know, take me a little while to get used to my my bearings in this one. I guess you would say. No. I got turned around again. I'm seeing the wrong marker. That's a dispatcher marker. Okay, so let's try this again. So east, east, northeast. Okay, hey, there's a doctor. Are we closer? Okay, we need to still go east northeast. Looks like we still need to keep going this way. Okay, I think I see the marker. Just gotta figure out how to get there. Just bear with me, it's gonna take a little bit. Okay, there he is. Well, if you can help me with something, teach me to bandage. Sure, bring me a bandage. I'll show you how to continue. All right, I already got it. Ah, I have a bandage. Choose your patient. You must be standing close by. Bandage a patient. Double click your bandages in your inventory. And it's in your backpack and target yourself or a close by patient. Alright. Let's heal him. Nah, it won't let me heal him. I keep forgetting I can click my hotkey over here now or use my hot button. Alright, greens, I wonder if you help me uh, bandage my patient. Well done. Keep in mind that bandages can only be used every so often. Bandages can cure poisons and even resurrect with enough healing skill. There's another similarity to Ultima Online. Uh, here's some bandages to get you started. All right, so now we have 198 bandages. That's good, because we're probably going to need those. All right, let's talk to him again. Um, I need something. I want to know something. He has nothing to say. Okay. Wow, we took some damage from somewhere. See if this helps us. Yeah. Yep. Can't bandage yet because our timer hadn't run down. There we go. Okay, so the bandaging is immediate. That's nice to know. Okay, well, we have no more missions and quests. So it looks like we're on our own from here. 
let's open this map. We got Gatekeeper, the arena. The arena does not sound like a place we need to be yet. Um, so let's just do some running around. All right. This way is north. So. I want to rotate my camera back around. So, okay, that's north. Okay, there we go. Alright, I've got all kinds of people hollering my name here. Uh, rogues and beggars and all kinds of folks. Hey, look, a chicken. <laughs> uh, harvest it. Ah, the gory guards killed it. Before I got a chance to finish it off. Oh, well. Alright, well. Let's, uh... Let's get out of here for a little bit. Let's, let's go out into the the world. Let's see what we got. Let's see if we get murdered. Township in. Okay, that's interesting. Graveyard close by. Okay. Oh, looks like another player there. Bring a little closer in. Okay, we're not doing too bad. Gonna start healing ourselves. I got a zombie joining in. Ooh, we might have to run. Heal up a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of a slow go, but I wish we could increase the size of this. We may be able to go into the options and do a little something with it. I have to check. A little more healing. Vitality three. You're getting a ten percent bonus on your base statistics. Nice. one at a time. There we go. Come on here, buddy. Go ahead and start taking a bandage up here. <laughs> oh. right, 
Hold on that one. Alright, so so far hotkeys to bandage come in handy. Can heal while we're running. Pushing the limits here. Probably shouldn't be doing that. Oh, all right. I <laughs> got some attention. So let's run. Server will make a restart in two minutes. What the heck? Okay. Well, anyway, we got a good start. Um. Overpower. Oh, I, I, I didn't even realize we had bleed and overpower. Okay, so we have a couple of abilities down here that I didn't even think to use. So, Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call this one here and uh, say that I'm pleased so far. So I'll probably be coming back to this one. Uh, I do see a lot of the Ultima Online uh, links, similarities. So kind of curious of this one so anyway i'm gonna mess around with it a little bit more might make some some more videos on it later on but uh get a feel for it a little bit more i just want to do kind of a first impression video but so far so good thanks for watching